Okay, so for this video, we'll be uh, testing our uh, sensors. So I have here my MIDE open and I have here my STC ISP 6.91 for programming the microcontroller. Okay, so the microcontroller needs to be uh, power cycle during programming. So since I have a uh, power switch here, I only connected transmit, receive, and ground for the UART. So as you can see here, for the uh, USB to UART, it's only three. Uh, since I have my external power here, or the battery, uh, I only connected the transmit, receive, and ground going to the UART. Okay, so uh, remember that if you are powering from the battery, disconnect, it is safe to disconnect the uh, 5 volts from the USB. So it will be safer for your laptop or computer that uh, no voltages will be uh, uh, making uh, conflict, uh, no conflict in voltages or else you can fry your laptop or your computer. Okay, so since we are powering from the battery, it's only the ground, transmit, and receive is connected to the USB to UR. Okay, so for the sensors, uh, as you can see, uh, the platform is in an elevated part. So, so you can see that um, when I put my finger below the sensors, so the LEDs respond. So, that means that when the sensors uh, find reflection, so that means this is in white. So when um, there is a reflection, uh, the LED is off. And as you can see, there is no reflection. It's under black. So all L LEDs are lit. So how do we know? Uh, that our um, sensors, uh, the output from the sensors will be uh, translated to the motors for turning left or right. First, uh, we need to find the values of the sensors. So since this is 3, so even though this is uh, 5 channel, I am only using 3 channel of these sensors. So first, we need to test the response first of the sensor. So for easier testing of the response, we will be using uh, the serial port to uh, make uh, to check the response of the computer uh, of the mobot to the computer. Okay, so I have here my MIDE. So for the usual in the laboratory, we are using our ATP51.h. So I'll just save it as sensors test. So sensors test that C. So this program will test the value of the sensor. Now, um, since this is not a uh, this is an enhanced version of the ET51. It has a uh, peripheral that is not present in the classic ET51, which is port 5 and timer 2. So these are uh, registers that are not present in the classic ET51. So since I am using port 5 here, and I am using timer 2 for the bold rate generator, let us uh, define first this uh, pins by adding the code SB uh, for the P54 and P55 ports and SFR for the OXR and T2H and T2L which we'll be using later on for <coughs> uh, programming the baud rate generator of the UART. So 
let's add the FOSC. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's add the FOSC, which is our crystal frequency, which is 11.0592 megahertz. And the baud rate will be 9600. So this formula will auto compute the baud rate. And we have several um, variables for our uh, UART, so which is the BC bit, the right po right pointer, right right pointer, read pointer, and buffer for the incoming uh, values. So we will be using the serial interrupt to process the receiving and transmitting of the data, which is this part of the code. Then again, we need a uh, delay routine. Okay, so this is a uh, typical delay routine. And we need a function to initialize the UART. Okay, so this is the initialization for the UART. And we need a function for transmitting a character and a function for transmitting string to the uh, computer. Now, uh, let's write our main code. So, since we have already those functions, Oh. Okay, so since you already have those functions, we write our main code. So we uh, declare a, a variable called line. So this is where we will be uh, <coughs> storing the values of our line sensor. So since I am using P54 and P55 for enabling the motors, so for my particular for uh this particular board, P54 and P55 is used for the enable of the motors. So first, I will uh, turn off the motors. So since we are just testing our uh, sensors, we do not need our motor. So Again, uh, we turn off first the motor. So since I have connected my sensor to port 2 and I am only using P20 to P27, I will just um, mask the value of the sensor to 7. Okay, so we will only get the values from 0 to 7 since we are only connecting 3 sensors and it is connected to P20, P21, P22, and P27. Then, we initialize the UART. So, for this particular testing, we are using the UART so we could um, see the response of the sensor if it is responding properly. So, before we could test the motors. So, after we initialize the UART, so let's just put a welcome message. So the print ln um, function will uh, be used for transmitting string of characters to the computer. So we have our infinite loop here. So now is the fun part, our de uh, declaration for the program later, later on, the full program for the line follower. So first, the line. So we have here a, a variable line, which is uh, where we will be storing the value of our uh, sensor since it's connected to P2 and in only three bits, I will be uh, masking it and ending to 0x07 to zero out all other bits. Now, let's test the value. So, 
so that uh, we know that all the sensors are responding properly, we will create a uh, program that will take uh, the values of the sensor and write the corresponding value to the screen. So if line equals to zero, then we will uh, put a message that line is equal to zero. So as if line equals to one, so let's copy this equal to one. So for easier programming, let's copy this one and modify it to two. Then three, then four, five, six. and seven okay and we will just add a slight delay so we could uh, see the results better okay uh, for this particular program we will we are just reading the values of the line sensor and transmitting it to the usb uh, to the serial port so that we know that our sensors are responding. So if you are not getting the full values from 0 to 7, that means that you have a problem with your connection or you have a problem with your sensor. Now let's build it and um, we have no errors. Okay, so programming the Mobot. So let's open the code file. This is sensor test. So since I have opened a source file, make sure that our input IRC frequency is 11.0592 megahertz. And uh, these are the settings for our uh, microcontroller. Now, we will program the microcontroller. So make sure that you select the proper uh, comport in your uh, device manager so for me i am using uh the usb to serial is connected at com9 so we download the program take note that it is checking target mcu and to program the microcontroller we need to power cycle the microcontroller so that the programmer will detect the microcontroller so i'll just turn this off quick and turn it back on again so you can see here that the programmer is now uh, working on it. Oh, it's filled. I just, uh, if you will uh, have this error, just retry programming. Okay. So here it's complete ready. Now that's it's complete. Uh, I have Puti, so a serial terminal application. So I am go to COM9. Okay. So okay, so there's something wrong. There's no coming out to the serial port. So, initialize your part. Oh, okay. So, I uh, forgot that 
uh, we need to start our serial interrupt and to enable global interrupt. That's why the interrupt function is not working. Okay, so we rebuild it. Okay, so again, we open the code file. So make sure that this is 11.0592 megahertz and we click on download program. Fail. So sometimes if it will if uh it takes long for you to power cycle the microcontroller, sometimes it fails. Okay. So again, let's open Putty. So easier terminal program, you can just download it. So select COM9. So we are using 9600 boot. Okay, so as you can see here, the value is line equals to zero. Just uh, power cycle this one. So there you see sensors test. So we know now that if the sensor is under if all black lines, it means that um, the value that it reports to the microcontroller is zero. So as you can see, uh, the three sensors are, um, since I am only using three sensors here, so this means that these three sensors are under a white line. So if it is under a white line, that means your sensor is uh, uh, the value of these sensors. If these three sensors are inside a white line, then it is seven. Okay, so I only have here two sensors that is under a white line. So that's why I have one one. So since this is um, uh, this part of the sensor is connected to port to zero, then um, it will report. Uh, this this will uh, make it one two four. So for this one is it is under white line. This is three. So for this one this is okay. So four. This is. One, center one, two, four. So if these two are under uh, white line, so this is six since this is four and six. Okay, so um, this one, this value uh, will tell you that it will turn because it will be, um, these three sensors are uh, one of them is in white and one is in black. So again, this is this uh, value will give you a turn, and this value five is actually going you forward. So this one is invalid since we do not have a uh, white line at the center. So we always assume that. Uh, the center is inside a uh, black line. So on forward, the left and right sensor is uh, under white. Okay, so for this one, can be turn left or turn right. So if you have these values that um, the sensors are reporting properly, then um, you could go to the next step and test the motors.